Sophie and Jack had an equal amount of money at first. After Sophie spent $35.50, Zach has six times as much money as Sophie. How much money did Sophie have at first? I can't draw a model. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to write. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Mm. Why can't I just use Zach? So this one. Why are you putting there a bracket? One, two, three, four, five, and five units. Five units because since Sophie has one unit left, mm. there's because one unit times six, which is the which is six times over here. Okay. Six is six, so six units okay so five units equals to 35.50 okay dollars dollars okay so that means one unit <coughs> equals Thirty-five point fifty divided by divide by five okay. because since it's five units, to get one unit is divide by five, mm -hmm. which is okay. Google thirty-five point fifty divided by five. The answer is seven point one. Seven point one. Seven, three, five, so that's zero. Okay. So uh, zero. Mm -hmm. Just zero. Okay. Okay. This is a good right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you know the answer now. Thirty-five point fifteen, which is the five units that Sophia or the Sophie spent. Okay. So to find the amount per unit, thirty-five point fifty divided by five. The question is, how much did, did Sophie, Sophie have at, at first? first? At first. Oh, wait, no. Right? <laughs> yeah, at first. I totally forgot. Time. Thirty-five point fifty, which is um so this is thirty-five plus seven. I have to 42. write it. I have to write forty-two. It. Forty-two point forty-five uh forty-two point sixty. 
No, okay. D decimal. You're talking about decimal. Okay, correct. So this one, six. So this one, put, put the point over there. Down there, the decimal point. So, yeah. So, so five, six, seven. So five, six, the greater seven, number eight, first. Nine, ten, seven plus five. You oh, don't so start five. with the five, right? Uh, and then um, forty-two. Two point sixty. Okay. That's the answer. Okay, correct. Good job. Thank you, Sam.